Hey there guys, my name is Jesse Cox, and today, we ally our enemies with a look at the level 40 to 45 zone of Thousand Needles in World of Warcraft Cataclysm. For eons, the canyons of the Thousand Needles were slowly carved by the subtle forces of water's erosion. But in the Cataclysm, that same water has reclaimed the land. Once, towering pillars of rock punctured the sky. Now, tiny islands barely poke above the waves. The Torin, who once dominated the landscape, scrambled to save Freewind Post. But as they focused inward, the grim totems launched a surprise attack, killing many and taking their camp. With nowhere else left to go, the Torin have fled to the higher grounds of Feralus. But the Grim Totem, seeing the Night Elves of Thalinar weakened as well, attacked the foothills, attempting to quickly defeat any who would threaten their control over the region. Barely escaping the Grim Totem assault, you are rescued by the Speed Barge, the creation of the first ever Goblin Gnome Alliance. And while they both believe the ship is the only hope for survival, neither agrees how best to use it. Meanwhile, while both sides squabble over technical schematics and how best to procure oil from the centaur's land, the South Sea Pirates have built a fortress on the bluffs overlooking the flooded salt flats, planning to take the ship for their own. With the help of your engineer allies, you must fight off the pirates and save your friends. During your battle with the pirates, the Night Elves and Torrent, bound by their ancient druidic cultures, put aside factional differences, and together launch an offensive against the Grim Totem to retake the lands of Thousand Needles. While working with them to save those who the Grim Totem have taken captive, the presence of a foreboding Wind Serpent beckons you to follow, leading you to several artifacts of shamanic power, and more importantly, to the location of the Grim Totem leaders. You believe this creature to be your spirit guide. But with the help of Lakota Windsong, you discover that not only has the beast been controlled by Karen Bloodhoof's murderer, Magatha Grimtotem, but that she has been guiding you the entire time. Still, questions remain. What are the artifacts? Why did she have you kill her own tribe? And where is she now? With Lakota's help, you learn the Elder Crone is being held by the Twilight's Hammer. And in order to get the answers you need, you must rescue your worst enemy. But how can you trust someone who would murder her own tribe? More importantly, do you have a choice? Please click the annotation to return to the 